Hey guys, Matt Wicker at Chatley Marine. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're going to take a look at a boat that was one of our best sellers at the most recent boat show, the 2024 Sea Hunt Ultra 255 Center Console. Before doing the walkthrough, I want to go over some of the specs of the boat. The 2024 255 Ultra Sea Hunt is 24 foot 11 inches, has a 8 foot 9 inch beam, has a draft of 14 inches, max horsepower of 300 horsepower, and this boat is powered by Yamaha 300. XSB white with electric steering and fly by wire shift and throttle has a 120 gallon fuel capacity uh, and has a dead rise of 55 degrees at the bow transitioning to 24 degrees at the midship and 18 degrees at the stern before we go into some of this the features and benefits of the boat I want to talk about the the standard features because that's one of the huge selling features of the 255 and all the Sea Hunt boats is just that they come standard out of the box with everything that most customers need so they won't have to make a tremendous uh, amount of decisions and don't have to add a ton of money in aftermarket accessories boat is standard with a 12 inch Garmin GPS a through hole transducer Garmin VHF radio a JL audio stereo um, media master 105 standard with an amp six speakers Standard with interior mood lights, both on the floor and the T-top. Standard with electric steering. Standard with underwater lights. Standard with a freshwater system. Plenty of cooler space. Standard with a mister system, LED docking lights. Um, so just everything, dual batteries for the, the house batteries, uh, battery management system. So again, just before we go into the, to, to the walkthrough, I want to just kind of stop and point out that how many standard features this boat has. Climbing in the boat, taking a look at the bow area. First thing you'll notice, notice is how large the bow area is. Uh, the 255 is the, the first boat Seahun offers with a bow filler option to really create a huge area up front to lay out, lounge, island hop, things like that. So they also uh, are standard with the spa style seating, so more comfortable seating up front. It is standard with the bow beverage center, which is a nice option to uh, put wine bottles, glasses, drinks for kids, anything like that up there. Uh, comfortable enough for uh, three adults to lay out and stretch out. I'm six foot and I can sit with my uh, back on the backrest and my feet are still close to a foot away from the um, the bow of the boat. So great room up there. It's also very deep. So if you're, um, you're running in rough water, you don't have to worry about small kids or anybody being in danger. Uh, there are perfectly placed cup holders. There's four of them. You can see one behind each backrest and then a cup holder rod holder combination perfectly placed for riders sitting in the uh, in the bow with the cushions removed taking a look at some of the storage of the 255 uh, you do have dual 148 quart insulated fish boxes in the bow uh, all these drain overboard which is a nice feature so if you got blood in there you know, it'll drain right out the side and not go down to the bilge um, large storage area they are gasketed sea hunt does a great job with their fit and finish uh, you'll also see the cup holder rod holder combinations at the bow so uh, perfect for drift fishing bottom fishing or just uh, putting a drink when you're lounging out powder coated bow rails are standard and they're recessed so they're not going to interfere with the one cast net huge anchor locker again i want to point out that in my opinion this is their first big boat you'll notice the the cleats on the 255 are oversized, uh, much larger than the 239 and, and all of the rest of the smaller boats. Huge area for rope storage in the anchor locker. Um, deep bow area. Again, noticing the fit and finish, the cup holders, every single item is, uh, is finished off. So that little hole there is where the cup holder rod holder will drain. So everything drains to the uh, to the floor, so you don't have to worry about the boat if you're going to leave it on your, your lift. Um, step ups to the front, so it makes it easy to get to the bow of the boat, even in rough water. You got a V lock, which is used for the bow beverage center. Also, there's several different accessories, cutting tables, little you know, cutting boards, tons of accessories that kind of go into that V lock. And you do have an additional slide out storage tray in the step comes with a sea hunt bottle opener which is a nice touch in addition to the dual 148 quart uh, insulated fish boxes you do have 188 quart in floor storage as well so they they make use of every single uh inch of space uh, moving back from the console you've got a spacious bow seat comfortable for two adults you'll see the full length bolsters oversized midship cleats the tow rail 
you're going to gaff a fish, kind of keeps you in the boat, and that leads to the side entry doy. While I have that, I want to point out uh, this is an awesome feature by Sea Hunt, and and I want to point out the two piece door, which starts at the uh, the 255. And the reason for that is the boat is a lot taller, higher gunnel height, and also Sea Hunt utilizes that two piece door so that when customers are stepping on and off the dock, they're not going to have to step over a uh, a big space to get into the boat. Some of the competitors use a, a smaller door, and if you've got an older adult trying to get on the dock, they still have to lift over their leg and step down into the boat. With Sea Hunt, you can kind of step right off the dock, and it's pretty much level with the uh, level with the side entry door. Taking a look at the stern with cushions installed. You'll notice the dual VIP seats, which are new for 2024 on several of their models. Uh, the VIP seats uh, set the customer back farther in the cushion, so you've got more leg room. It's also more comfortable. It kind of contours your back. Uh, room easily can sit three adults on that rear bench or you know, four or five children. A very comfortable area. Again, cup holders perfectly placed. Uh, oversized cleats. The uh, freshwater tank fill. On the 255, they also utilize on the stern. With the cushions removed, we'll take a look at some of the storage features on the, the stern of the boat. You've got uh, cup holder, rod holder combinations on each side, perfectly placed for holding a drink or for trolling. Again, oversized cleats. Walk through transom entry. And just behind the walk through transom is also a feature that I love. Seahun offers their dual anchor lockers. So um, if you're gonna pull up on a sandbar, need a small anchor to throw out, this is perfectly placed so that you don't have to drag that sandy anchor throughout the boat and pull it all the way to the bow. Um, plenty of room to stand on the back too if you wanna to toss to the dock or climb in and out. Storage wise, we'll start on the, uh, the port side. Live well, insulated live well, clear lid, CN boss logo. Storage under the center seat, and this storage box does lift out to give access to through hole transducers, fittings, pumps, fresh water system. And plenty of room in there for mechanics to, to work or if you don't do any maintenance. And then on the starboard side, the five gallon uh, bucket that lifts out. And I want you to notice too, while, while those are up, the static hinges or friction hinges, which is a really nice feature. If you've got kids opening boxes, these things will stay in place. They're not gonna slam on fingers. See how it finishes off all their boxes so you're not gonna see any raw fiberglass. They just do a tremendous job on their fit and finish. Uh, looking at the floor drains, floor drains are flush and they're on the corners. A lot of boats are, um, are putting floor drains in the center of the boat. And if you have a, a big guy or a couple of big people sitting in the corner, um, you know, their feet's going to stay wet because the, the water's going to drain or flow right to their feet. So you know, it uses a flush mount system in the corners uh, so that, uh, that all the water's going to drain efficiently out of the boat. Also included on the stern of the boat is a standard freshwater shower. Great for rinsing off before you climb in the boat or if kids want to take a nap, get the sand and grit off of them. But that is a standard feature on the, uh, the stern of the boat. For the helm seating options, you got several different options. This is the way we choose to stock ours with the ultra mezzanine seat. Um, great feature. It allows you to get two additional seats in the back if you're going to watch kids on tubes or just watch kids swim off the back of the boat. gives you a comfortable seat there. Uh, there is an option for the ultra entertainment center and the uh, leaning post live well. Since we've got the ultra mezzanine seat in this boat, I'll take a quick look at it. This lifts up. And again, you've got a large insulated cooler. Great place to store drinks, comfortable backrest to watch kids swim or hang out at the back of the boat, cup holders, and the integrated footrest, which makes it comfortable if anybody's sitting in those VIP seats in the back, and stick their legs up and relax. Um, storage on the side, a couple of uh, tackle trays, and slide out trays with stainless steel ball bearings. Again, the, uh, the captain's chair leaning post, the armrest that flip down, bolsters, footrest, and there is additional storage. Bottle opener under the, the leaning post. Take a look at the console. The boat is standard with a uh, Garmin 1243 XSV with an Airmar B150 through hole transducer. It's going to be preloaded with all the coastal cartography in the lakes the, for the entire continent of the United States. Um, great switch layout. 
Everything is nice and neatly labeled with a waterproof breaker position beside it. The 255 does get a stereo upgrade from the, the less expensive models. So you get a Media Master 105, which is a nicer head unit. And you also get a JL Audio amp. It's going to power all six speakers. Um, but it's standard with a wireless phone charger. On top of the dash, you got a Sea Hunt embossed uh, C Deck pad where you can put your phone, wallet, anything you don't slide it around, and a standard lighted compass. Uh, all the, the 239 and above Sea Hunts are standard with a glass enclosed hardtop. And I want to point out that it is glass enclosed, not acrylic. Sea Hunt used to use acrylic and they had issues with uh, customers using Windex or anything like that to clean it. So if you're looking at a boat, make sure it does have glass and not acrylic. We've ran into those, those issues. So it does have a power vent. Got a switch right here at the top. So you can open and close this vent, which is a nice feature. It kind of tunnels air through here on a hot summer day. And on a nasty day, it kind of blocks all the wind and spray off of you. You have spreader lights in the front, spreader lights in the back. You've got blue mood lights standard on the top, a little glove box for storing things, and a Garmin VHF radio, which is networked in with the GPS, so the DSC feature will work. If you're offshore and in trouble, um, it will send your coordinates to the coast. Continuing to look at the hard top, you will notice you have two additional speakers on the on the top for a total of six speakers in the boat, uh, spreader lights in the front and back. We These are the optional Kingfish rod holders. The boat is standard with a uh, outrigger mount made into the top. And Sea Hunt's top is awesome because it's made into the console. So you don't lose any space, floor space, by having the T-top legs three or four inches out in the walkway. You can see how it's flush with the console. Looks really nice, but it also saves room. Continue to look at the console, you'll notice that Sea Hunt did integrate dual footrest, which is a nice feature. That's a small thing that gets a lot of comments from customers. Um, just telling me how much they love having the ability for the wife to put their feet up while they're standing and driving the boat. Uh, so that's a great feature. Again, storage everywhere. Glove box here. The boat is standard with trim tabs, standard with tilt electric steering, um, standard with uh, the digital pre-rig, so fly-by-wire shift and throttle, push-button start. Incorporated with that is the CL5 display. So it's touchscreen, you'll have all your engine information. Uh, you can adjust the friction on the steering, you can adjust how many turns from lock to lock. You can set up trim assist. There's tons of features on this electric engine. Uh, and you can overlay that onto the GPS. It's uh, already hooked up from the factory so that everything will work the way it should. Looking in the console, the Sea Hunt 255 is standard with the porcelain head uh, with overboard discharge and pump out. It has a macerator pump. You can see how big of an area this is. No problem for bigger guys like me to get in and out. They utilize storage uh, underneath the bow seat. Storage on the wall, storage on the door. You can see your uh, storage for your side entry ladder there. Access to under the console wiring, batteries, and then the battery management system here. The 255 is standard with three batteries. You're going to have one uh, cranking battery and two house batteries and then the ability to combine all those if you do run into an issue where you don't have enough juice to crank the battery so you can get home. Taking a quick look at the stern of the boat, you'll see the dive ladder uh, in addition to the side entry ladder that tucks into the boat. Great feature, easy to get on and off the boat and then when you're not using it, it does slide in so that you won't be clipping docks uh, with the ladder. You'll notice trim tabs are recessed under the hull, which is a great feature. Don't have to worry about forklifts, ripping them off, kids uh, hitting their leg on them, bumping them on things. Uh, underwater lights are standard on the 255. Again, you can see the Yamaha 300 XSB, which is offered only in white for sea hunts. V6 motor, 4.2 liter with integrated electric steering. Uh, standard with a stainless steel Yamaha prop. Sea Hunt chooses to power match your engine, so they go to Yamaha and they use everything Yamaha says uh, needs to be on the boat for optimal performance. And by doing that, you get an additional warranty on all the components. So instead of a one-year warranty on the throttle box, control box, gauges, you'll get three years on all the Yamaha components. Or it kind of mirrors the, uh, the engine warranty, and you'll notice that by the power match sticker on the transom of the boat. Taking one final look at the 2024 
C Hunt 255 Ultra. If you're in the market for a new center console, C Hunt, or any other boat before you make any buying decision, please give me a call. Matt Wicker at Chatley Marine, 919 775 7259. I promise you it'll be worth a, worth a phone call. I'll try to answer any questions you have. Um, try to save you some money on your new boat purchase and it'll be a good experience for you. We have a tremendous amount of sea hunts in stock. We have the largest sea hunt dealer in the country. So again, before you make any buying decision, please give me a call. Matt Wicker, Chatley Marine, 919-775-7259. I'd love the chance to speak with you, save you some money and answer any questions you, you may have. Thank you for watching.